danger of closing. Budget cuts could force a Groton Elementary School to close its doors. The superintendent has to cut as much as $3 million from that budget. News 8's Tina Detail shows us tonight what's on the chopping block. Education makes up the biggest part of this town's budget, which is why the schools could be taking the biggest hit when the cuts come down. From the state. We got 25 last year. They're saying we're going to get 10 next year. This board is a harsh reminder of how many millions Groton could lose in state aid. It's either 9.2 or 13.2. Superintendent Dr. Michael Grenier has tough decisions to make. The town has asked him to prepare a budget which reflects a three to four million dollar cut in state aid. That could mean an elementary school would have to close, disrupting 300 students. Plus, there would be layoffs of teachers and other staff. You can't cut $3 million from, from, a, uh, from, a, from a budget um, and, and expect there to be minimal impact. This is going to be very disruptive, mm -hmm. very painful. The fact that they sit there and they put all the kids, you know, take them out of one school and put them into a different school, that is a bit concerning. The town's budget has to be in by the end of the month, even though it won't know exactly how much state aid it will or won't get for months after that. There's no easy fix, and I have no idea what, what the solution is, and that's the hard part. Where's the solution? You know, that's where the politicians have to step up to Hartford and say, come on, guys, work with us. So for now, the town, which is holding out some hope, prepares for a total loss of $5 million in state aid, even though the state has threatened bigger cuts. Is this one of the toughest years for you? Oh, it's unprecedented. It might not be pleasant to see, but the superintendent and the rest of the town will be able to get a real look at what the budget cuts could mean during a special Board of Education meeting tonight at the Town Hall Annex at 7.30. In Groton, Tina Detell, News 8.